Are you ready? Hey, man. And that's how we start to show off. Richie's passion for rap began while hanging out in the projects near Detroit. He took to scratching on turntables and acquired his nickname when people exclaimed, Watch that white Kid Rock. And Kid Rock's album, Devil Without a Cause, would go on to sell over 10 million copies. Masterfully blending confident and cocky hip-hop sounds with raw and genuine country influences, Kid Rock proudly displays his affection for country music by playing lap steel, banjo, and slide guitar on his latest album, Cocky. Kid has collaborated with artists in all musical genres, from Sheryl Crow to Aretha Franklin to Aerosmith. But perhaps his most satisfying musical collaboration has been with Mr. Hank, Williams Jr. Hank Williams Jr. is the only living artist to have had nine albums simultaneously on the Billboard music charts, and his 68th and latest album, The Almera Club, is a celebration of his musical roots. Nicknamed Bo Cephas by Hank Sr., the most famous performer in country music, Hank Jr. has stepped out of the musical shadow of his legendary father by creating his own trademark style that combines southern blues and rock and crowd-pleasing outlaw country. A young kid rock became one of the legions of Hank Jr. fans, and out of their professional collaboration has grown a strong personal friendship. Welcome to CNT Crossroads. I'm Greg Martin. We're here tonight to create an explosion between the world of rock and the world of country. We've got the guy who mixes southern rock with hip hop and the guy whose music and attitude personifies the country rebel. Hey, there's only one place you want to be when these two guys get together, and that's right here, knee deep in the middle. Are you ready? Are you ready? Please welcome from Detroit, Michigan, the rock and roll cowboy who's always a life at a party, Mr. Kid Rock! And now, the man born in Shreveport, Louisiana, who currently resides in West Tennessee, a true country legend in every sense of the word. Please welcome Mr. Hank Williams, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, Crossroads. Well, I guess we ought to play some music here, huh? Yeah. I got to run to keep from hiding And I'm bound to keep on But I'm not gonna let them catch me, no Not gonna let them catch the midnight ride Come on now I said I'm not gonna let them catch me, no They'll never catch me Rock, rock, rock. 
Thank you. We'll be back with more Hank Jr. and Kid Rock. You're watching CMT Crossroads. Stay with us. So Hank, tell us about your, uh, your vehicle here. Well, here we are in West Tennessee where we do a lot of duck hunting and you can just go right off in the water with this. You know, you go from the land into the water and back out on the land and it's great. You ever rolled it? No. Uh -uh. Well, I like but the it. night is young. And we got more playing to do though. So your father took you to a concert. Did your father, would you grow up listening to, to Hank Williams Jr. or other country artists? Well, there was a lot of country in our house growing up. There's a lot of different music, but my dad was a huge Johnny Cash fan, Hank, Ronnie, Millsap, all, all that type of stuff, a lot of the outlaw stuff. And then the, the funny story about it is he used to, he's, man, I got great tickets to see Hank this year. So we go see Hank, and then what was it, last year I was on stage with you at the same place he used to take me to see and we were hanging out having yeah. some pops and whatnot. I said, how are these seats, Dad? Yeah, he was, he was into that. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I think anybody watching this program will want to know how you guys first met. Oh, you want to handle that? The, the naked video. women and beer. <laughs> When we met that first time, sitting there on the bus doing the video, he said, let me tell you something. He said, I know more of your song than you know. And I said, there's no, what? No way. First time on the bus, we sat there and I was like, hey man, whatever happened to that, that, that song you did, I know, is it? A hamburger steaks, a holiday ends. Well, that's the kind of world that I live in. Play a different town most every night. 
Love a new woman, write a new song That's my life Cause that's my life And Lord, and I love it Hey, that's my life There ain't nothing else in the world above it I see people all along Picking their guitars and singing their songs I tell them to forget it Cause you can't fake it If you gonna make it You gotta live it Hank said, man, how the hell do you know that song? I said, Hank, I know all your songs every word. Got a big bus With a TV and a bar And a little room in the back Just for me and an old guitar Gotta stop and fuel up Yeah Every 500 miles Give a picture to the waitress, eat a late breakfast, country style. That's my life, hey, Hank, and I love it. Oh, that's, that's my life. life. There, there ain't nothing, nothing else in the world above it. I see people all in the home picking their guitars and singing their songs, and I tell them, forget it. Cause you can't fake it If you gon' make it You gotta live it Oh, very nice. Very nice. And when I heard that song, what stuck in my mind was you can't fake it If you wanna make it, you gotta live it. You're watching Crossroads on CMT. We're coming right back. Stay with us. Now it's your line. <laughs> oh, man, you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> last night to go and hang at Hank's cabin uh, and spend some time with these two guys and just to see them talk and to see them get along and to see them share information was really really cool I was just curious what two creative guys like yourself do late at night if you sit around and you write songs if you uh, pass down wisdom to kid about the music business not really we weren't passing any wit we were no. passing a few glasses but we weren't <laughs> passing any wisdom all right that's what I wanted to hear we can move on could I borrow your cowboy hat for one second you know what I'd like to do right now? I would like to introduce somebody who I think is one of the most talented, young and up-and-coming country singers. Really, somebody phenomenal that I look up to. And I know, you know, me and Hank are here, and you wonder who could that be from Kid Rock, you know? Well, I would like you to introduce him, and uh, I would like you to give him a big round of applause. Please, give it up for Kid Country. How are y'all? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming out tonight. I'm so happy to be here and uh, we hope we can give you some good country music next year. Thank you for your support. What a fine young gentleman that is, right? Hey, you know, so many people think fans of country music are a certain way, and so many people think that fans of rap or hip hop are a certain yeah. way. How do you guys get over those prejudices? You know, we don't care what the what the kind of music is, and I will not sit here in these interviews and 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 I never have done that and be labeled about you know I am pure country, or I ain't pure country, or I am pure rock. Uh, was Hank Williams pure country, or was he pure rockabilly? Or was he a wonderful combination of both? All the and above. Blues. You know, that, that's the way I look at it. There's it, it, too many good things to happen. Ted, what's the reaction when you play Country Boy Can't Survive at your concerts with the legions of fans that follow you? Uh, what do you see on their faces when you play that song? We did a rock and roll video. <laughs> You know, 
we go out and we rock it out and we really do it, but of course I had to put a few four letter words in it, <laughs> which didn't, didn't make all country, the whole country community happy. But when I sang it that night, you know, I went out there and, uh, December 31st, 1999 at the Pontiac Silverdome with 70,000 people, with me, Metallica, and Ted Nugent. And I walked up to the mic with my guitar and said, Computer Man says it's the end of time. December 31st, 1999. There's people buying up a army surplus things. Worry about what the new year will bring. But I live back in the woods, you see Y2K don't mean a thing to me I mean, that crowd That wasn't my original version, by the way <laughs> I, I kid rocked it up a little <laughs> Kid, what was the first Hank song you ever played on the guitar? Probably one of the hits, Whiskey Bent Something like that, but you know, I started getting into outlaw women and OD in Denver, and you know, <laughs> I mean, there's so many great ones. You know, even Come and Go Blues, you know, which I don't think you wrote, but played so well and sang it to the T. And then when he showed me down to hey, Bobby, I'm like, Hank, man, how do you play Come and Go Blues? Oh, you got to tune down the G. I'm like, well, I've never had a lesson in my life. I'm like, how do you do that? He said, oh, you do it like this, Bobby. That's all we do all the time. We change tuning half yeah. the night. And at this point, I'm going, Hank, slow down. So we'd sit around, we'd, you know, we'd go from one tuning to the other tuning, instead of just staying in the same one all the time. That's where Whiskey Ben Hellbound came from, actually, was that tuning. I got, I got a good idea where that came from. <laughs> Can we hear a little bit of that whiskey bent hellbound? Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys want to hear that? Do you know it? Want to hear a little bit? Just a little? You play it. In. You play it, E. Yeah. I'll be right back here in just a minute. <laughs> there. We got some good women at home. Who thinks we do no wrong? Sometimes, Lord, they ain't always around. Now it's your line. <laughs> oh, oh, man, you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you Don't know, you know that's, that's when he falls? falls. I, I can't, can't help myself at all. And what happens? Yes, I can. And I get whiskey bent and hell bound. You know I do. Play me some songs about a rambling man. Put a cold one in my hand. Y'all know I love to get drunk. Play with Hank and his country sounds. After every show. Don't play, I'm so lonesome I could cry Baby, I get all balled up inside After this show, we gonna get whiskey band And hell bound Play, I'm so lonesome I could cry and then I will play only God knows why. Now you're talking. <laughs> and we commence to get whiskey bent and low down. Oh, yeah. Hey. Showing sure up about closing time. Me and Cracker and Kenny and Bobby about stoned out of our minds. Hey, now. And he ends up with some honky tonk no, dancing. No, I don't. I do not. I love you, baby. <laughs> is that a real friend or is that a real friend? <laughs> no, so we don't have any fun hanging out together. We have a lot of fun doing that. Hey, don't go anywhere. We've got more Crossroads here on CMT right after this.
thought about ever releasing a straight traditional country album? I don't know if I'm good enough to do that. I, I like to have, I really like it a lot. I love country music. I love blues music. I mean, essentially, sometimes when I'm picking and playing, I think people forget that I am. You know, I started off as a rapper. And that's what I'll always be in my heart. And I have a lot of other talents, and I appreciate a lot of different music. I, I, I a good one, too. I, I, I hope to be able to sing as good as this guy one day and play as good as him. And I'm trying, and, I'm, and I got the best teacher out Listen there. <laughs> I got the best teacher out there. So, I mean, I guess it's just the influence will always be in my music. But am I going to go country? I, I think I was born country. This next song is uh, off my new record. Uh, it's called Lonely Road of Faith. Thank you. Stay tuned for more Kid Rock and Hank Williams Jr. right after this. Hey, now! Boy, five years ago, I didn't think I'd be sitting on a private airplane heading to Nashville to sing trying to figure out how we're going to sing family tradition with Hank Jr. Woo! And he thought all his rowdy friends settled down. <laughs> Someone asked Daddy in, in an interview in some of the old articles I have, did you ever have any formal musical training? He said, I got all the training I ever needed from T-Top. Rufus Payne died in 1937. Daddy met him when he was nine years old, and Rufus passed away when he was 14. I've been trying to write this song for a real long time and always went about it the wrong way. So I forgot about Hank the legend and thought about the little boy from the, high, from the logging camp that basically had nothing. Little Hiram meeting T-Tot, the street singer. <laughs> Every morning, old T-Tot come around Setting up a shoe shine box in town He'd sing good morning Montgomery He'd sing good morning Montgomery He'd sing good morning Montgomery, Alabama I'm so glad, don't be sad There's no way you could feel bad When this dear man with a tin pan Started to play the blues This white boy, little Hiram Hank And took him in right under his wing And he'd say, T-Tot, make it ring He'd say, T-Tot, make it ring He would laugh and he would sing Would you please show me, show me, show me, show me If only I could play like you, I'd give anything That was a crossroads in music as far as I'm concerned. I have a lot of very neat things that very few people see. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Bobby. How do I even say, end up that in that? Was, <laughs> this, this is that. That was his, and this is his suitcase. Hank let me wear his dad's suit. Remember when you let me try the suit on? The oh, white yeah. one with the blue notes? Well, see, the same size. Yeah. I was yeah, walking around with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
you, sh you shared yeah. a lot of stuff with me. It means a lot to me. Hey, uh, I got something that I brought for Hank right now. I'd like to give him. He's been awful nice to me, and every day it's like every once a month, uh, once every two months, I wake up and there's a big gift at the door from Hank. Him and Mary Jane, they'll send me something nice. I mean, pictures and. I, I mean, just some things I can't discuss on CMT, but <laughs> send me some very nice things. So I got this for you, Hank, and it was, uh, I Man. think it might be something you like. Oh, God. Come on. I hope you know what this is, man. That's, that's a tomahawk. That's the right it's, feeling to go with the flintlock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, to Hank and Bobby. I promise I will never bury this in you, brother. Never. <laughs> Thank never. you, sir. You know, and on that note, I think I'd like to start this next song off, Hank, if I could, if I could even possibly try one time to sing next to you. Oh, poor old Bobby. Hip-hop and country music singers I've never really been that close of a family the man, old Hank Jr. Been awfully nice to me down here in Tennessee. And I guess it's because I want to change my hand. I want to change my direction. Oh, yeah. And I hope one day, Hank, that I will be a solid part of your Family tradition. Come on. Why do you drink? To get drunk, come on. Bobby, why do you roll smoke? To get stoned. Why must you wake up country and then you turn into rock and roll? To get paid. Over and over. Everybody made our prediction. If we get stoned and sing some new hit songs, it's a, that's a real family tradition. Now, Lordy, I have loved some ladies. Really? I still love Jim Beam. Oh, yeah. And they both tried to kill me. I think last night, family tradition. Sing a little Rebel Rouser song. Hey now. I might want to sing a little Kid Rock's going on. Come on! If they don't like Hank Williams, they don't like Cousin Cracker, they don't like Mr. Rock, they can kiss us. This should finish the family tradition right on off. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. For